Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, Maple Shade. Welcome back. I hope that everyone had a great vacation, a very well-deserved vacation, and I hope that you're all ready to kick off a really good stretch of school and get us, at, you know, and just really get into, you know, what it means to be a student. Um, I'm joined by someone who is going to help me remember what it means to be a student here at Maple Shade, my good friend Jade. Jade, how are you doing? Extraordinary. That is great to hear. Jade, let's start off by doing the Pledge of Allegiance, okay? All right. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, Jade, so the first thing is, you know, I just mentioned what it means to be a student here at Maple Shade, so let's talk about what it means to be a student. Here at Maple Shade, we are made in the shade, and tell us what that means. We are made in the shade because we strive to be hardworking, actively engaged, determined to succeed, and empathetic in all that we do. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it means to be a member of Maple Shade. So keep asking yourselves, how are you embodying these characteristics in order to be a Maple Shade student? We have a long stretch between now and the next vacation. And that means that we really need you focused and zeroed in on all of these attributes. So we need you determined to succeed. We need you hardworking. We need you act actively engaged. We need you being empathetic to yourselves so that when it starts to get hard, you don't give up on yourselves and you forgive yourselves if you start to get a little stressed out, all right? We have a long time between now and April, and between now and April, I know that you are made in the shade, but you got to do it. You got to bring it. You got to bring it. So make sure that you are made in the shade and you're making yourselves in the shade. Okay, this just in. Breaking news, everyone. We have a volleyball game coming up soon um, and reporting live from uh, Maple Shade Sports Center. We have Luke and Coop. Luke and Coop, take it away. I'm Cooper Hood, this is Luke Reeves, and this, this is Sports in the Shade. Can Space Sharks keep their crown? Or will the Dark Knights take what is theirs? Space Sharks have the first two picks. They get two chances to pull some really good rookies here. With the first pick, the Space Sharks draft Miss Brooke into the league. This budding rivalry is getting interesting, people. With the second pick, we have Mrs. Anderson. Welcome to the Space Sharks. Now, this is getting interesting, people. With the third pick in the draft, the Dark Knights will pick Mrs. O. Welcome to the Dark Knights. This is Mr. Sears' last match in this rivalry. What do you think he'll do, Luke? I think he's going to have a heck of a game, honestly, because it's his last match. He's got to make it his best. With the fourth pick in the draft, the Space Sharks select Mrs. Quinn. Welcome to the Space Sharks. How do you think the Dark Knights are going to do after last year's loss, Cooper? I mean... They have that veteran leadership and that talent from last year. It was a close game last year. So I'm led to believe that it's going to be an even better game to watch this year. And with Mr. Sears' last game, there's going to be a lot of emotion and determination to win. I think that is true because their veteran leadership is going to help them get a win this year and tie up the series 1-1. One one. With a fifth pick in this year's draft, the Dark Knights select... Miss Jordan, good pick for the Dark Knights. Miss Jordan can contribute really well to this team. With the sixth pick in this year's draft, the Space Sharks select Miss Abby. Space Sharks are looking to defend last year's title. Do you think they can do it, Luke? I honestly think not because, if I'm quite being honest, the Dark Knights have more players. They have returning veterans that are experienced in what they do. So I'm pretty sure I'm picking the Dark Knights on this one. I'm going to say it's going to be a 3-2 to two close one, but not very far apart. I'm going to say 3-2 to two Dark Knights win. With the seventh pick in this year's draft, 
The Dark Knight, select. Miss Larkin. Welcome to the Dark Knights. With the last pick in the draft, the Space Shark Select. Miss J. Welcome to the Space Sharks, Miss J. Bam! There we go. I honestly think that the Dark Knights are gonna take this thing home three to two. Why? Because they have those veterans. They have the chemistry. They don't have to talk to new rookies about certain things of what to do. Even though they have rookies, it just it's just going to be in them to win. And the, and the Space Sharks are down on a lot of players, which can cause effects of how they play. And they have to talk to a lot of their rookies about all their chemi chemistry. And since they had Miss Hodges at team captain, and they had Mr. Carey on their team, those two can probably score the most points and secure the win. What do you think, Cooper? I mean, I agree with you in a lot of ways, but I just think the outcome is going to be more of a blowout. I'm going to say 3-1. In the Dark Knight's favor. The reason? The Space Sharks, they don't have as much of that returning veteran talent. I think not only will Mr. Sears apply a big factor, I think that Miss Hodges and Mr. Carey are going to do a lot. Watch for Mr. Sears to get the last point in the game to win. Yeah, I think that could possibly be good. It could be a good way to end off his last game with the Dark Knights, that could be an honorable way to end it. It yeah. could just show that I'm leaving, and I want to end it off in a good way. I'm Cooper Lloyd. This is Luke Reeses. This has been Sports, Sports in, in the shade. shade. And we'll see you March 13th at the volleyball game. East Long Meadow High School. Luke and Coop, thank you so much for that update on the upcoming volleyball game. All right, so... We have talked about a lot and I am getting thirsty and I know that there's some others that are probably getting thirsty just hearing us talk. Jade, why don't you reach into Batman's hollowed out skull and pull out two names of lucky individuals who are going to receive copies tomorrow. Oh, you got two. Who do we got? Who do we got? We got Mrs. Anne Dixon. Yep, and? Mrs. Bouchard. Awesome! So, we have Mrs. Anderson and Mrs. Bouchard. Congratulations, everyone. Coffee is on Batman tomorrow. All right, and all of this talk, I want to celebrate some birthdays. So, happy birthdays to the following awesome human beings. So, happy birthday, Bella Rosado, Willow Staples, Mrs. Pardo, um, and we also have Charlotte Botter, Anna McNamara, um, Rashad Abdurrahman, and Joy Dong. Happy birthday, everyone. I hope that you have the best birthday ever because you deserve it. That is why. Okay, I'm rested up from vacation. I had a great vacation. What did you do over vacation, Jay? Um, I went to the Caribbean. You went to the Caribbean? Was it super awesome? Oh my God, I'm so jealous. I had a staycation, but I love a staycation. I feel rested, ready, and I am certain, I am certain now that I'm fully rested because I was preparing myself all week long for this particular moment. I knew that I was gonna get this right, so I did it all. We talked about being made in the shade. We talked about Sports Center. Thank you, Luke and Coop. We talked about Space Shark versus Dark Knight. See, we did birthdays, we did coffee. That is it. That's a great way to start the week, right? Yeah. We're done, right? No. What? Joke of the day. Ah! Ah. Oh. Joke of the day. All that rest for nothing, Jade. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. I have a joke. Jade has a joke. Listen, she went to the Caribbean and came back with a joke. All right, give me their joke. What do you got? What did the man with the broken leg tell his valentine? That's a great question. What did the man with the broken leg tell his valentine? I have a crutch on you. I have a crutch because of the broken Oh, That's a good one. That's a good one. Don't slip on ice. All right, everyone. Um, I want you, like I said, you have a long stretch between now and April. It's a good time to get a lot of traction underneath your feet. And that means that you need to make sure that you are embodying the qualities of what it means to be a Maple Shade student. Because here at Maple Shade, we've got it made in the... Shade.